us how to make some green enchiladas. It's good to see you back, my friend. Oh, thank you for having us Any back. Any friend who brings good salsa is a dear friend of mine. <laughs> well, today the, we don't have chips and salsa on the segment, but I brought some for you. I know you're a big fan of them. I know. It's my favorite in town. <laughs> it's my favorite in town. Well, it's good to have you back. And um, I must be honest, um, you know, I was kind of raised on, like, the enchiladas where my dad and my mom and my grandma, they made this sauce from, from scratch and uh -huh. every single layer was, you know, made with love. And this is really what I love about your restaurant is these recipes are inspired by that from your mom and your family. So. Exactly. Uh, my mom and dad, their inspiration, they started a lot of the recipes uh, 30 years ago. Well, this is so. green, um, re well, it's, green chili enchilada sauce, basically. Yes, yeah, so it's our verde sauce, so it's made from tomatillos. Mm -hmm. It's a tomatillo-based sauce. So we have this one you can buy it at the store. Uh, we make ours from scratch, of course. Uh, it gets its thickness from uh, tortillas. You can okay. actually blend them all together with, with the tomatillo. Ah. Instead of using flour like you use for different other types of sauces, we use tortillas. That makes sense. It, I've done that too. same technique with a, with a tortilla soup, you know, mm -hmm. to kind of thicken it up. So right now we're going to start making the enchiladas. To start the enchiladas, you want to cook them in a little bit of oil. We just sort of toss them in there. You can throw a couple at a time. You want to make sure the oil's hot, but not too, too hot, just where it's starting to begin to shimmer. And we so, do that just to kind of moisten up that... Just to moisten here. it up, cook it a little bit. You always want to make sure you got your splash guard. You want to be careful when you're cooking with oil. I feel like it also helps um, the, the sauce stick to it a little bit better, don't it, you? It, it does. It absorbs better. Mm -hmm. I have some tortillas already cooked here for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the tortillas. We're going to start with one row at a time. No doubt you're going to put me to work, like you always do. <laughs> They're a little bit warm, so we want to be careful with them. My, my fingertips have been um, cal calcified, calcified. By, by making enchiladas with my dad when I was a little girl uh -huh. and crafting as an adult. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't feel anything, so I'm fine. I can help you out well, here. We have the, we have the uh, chicken already cooked. You can use whatever type of chicken. You can get some, uh, some that nice rotisserie chicken they have at yeah, Costco. Yeah, make it easy. Or, yeah, have it already done. Or you can barbecue it or make your own. Now, this is the twist that some people may go, ah, oh, yeah, I this never is, really thought th about this that. This is going to be our spinach that we're putting in here. Uh, what we can do is we have our, our pan right here get it nice and warm. What's in this? Is this butter? This is spinach, cheese, garlic, onions, and butter. Oh, what kind so, of cheese? Uh, Monterey Jack is what we okay. use. So we use, we've got to start off with uh, fresh spinach. Then we're going to put it in here. And the trick with spinach is it just takes a little bit of time to cook. And it looks like a lot of spinach, but Wait. once it cooks down, the size decreases significantly. Now, I have tried these before. Mm -hmm. And um, if, you're, if you're not a spinach fan, I have to tell you, it, you don't really taste a pronounced flavor of the spinach. Once you put the sauce and all the other fixings in it, it's just kind of a textural, just a little right. extra mild flavor. And, the, and, the key and it's is, a compliment to that. And the key is putting a lot of cheese in there, and cheese makes everything taste good. <laughs> Isn't that the <laughs> truth? And then we're just going to put a little sauce in there. You don't want to put too, too much. You don't want to uh, soak it too, too much because then it's hard to, to fold. Now, so, when we roll these, if people at home have tried them, they may have gotten frustrated because they crack or they break. It's right. gentle to the touch, It's yes? gentle. That's why we're putting them in the oil so that they're a little bit easier to move around. You so kind of just to, You want to flip them, that. and then you want to pull them in so that the stuffing doesn't come out. Okay. All right. And we have extra, so if we tear them, it's... Do you squish yours really close? Go. Uh, a little bit. It depends how fu full you want to do the pan. Hand me that little towel over there. The oh. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's a little bit greasy, so you're going to get a little bit dirty with it. Okay, so this is just one of the many things that you're going to have on the menu. You've got such a great celebration uh -huh. tomorrow over, mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry, yeah. at the restaurant. And um, you're going to have mariachis, which people will come out for. It, always the amazing margaritas that you have. Exactly. And this is what the finished product looks like right uh -huh. here. Now, the, the mariachis you found are, tell me about them. Uh, they're a local group. They're all uh, younger kids. That yeah, I think under 21 is under, what I heard. Under 21, yeah, so they're pretty talented. Looking forward to hearing them. They're, it's their passion. They practice a couple times a week. What time will they start playing over there? Uh, they're going to be uh, broken up throughout the day. Okay. But the festivities start at 2 o'clock. Okay. And then we, we're going to go on until 8, so not too, too late. It's, it's going to be good family fun. Yeah, but you know what? People will stay late. Yeah, probably. We so. know how you do over there. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> all right. Well, you know what? We're going we're gonna to listen to how fantastic all these, um, these young musicians are, these mariachis. Uh, it's Fuego del Sol. Correct. Uh-huh. Fuego del Sol. <laughs> 